Have you ever had something very important that you wanted to get to someone? And so maybe you mailed it, and when you mailed it, they asked, do you want signature verification? Do you want a seal on this particular item that requires a signature letting you know that the recipient has gotten it? And again, if it's very important, maybe you get insurance on it, um, and, and maybe you require verification of the, of the recipient of receiving it, and, and that's what we do with things that are valuable to us, where there are certain things that, that God sees as being very valuable to us as well. In fact, in Ephesians 1, 13 through 14, he said this, And you also were included in Christ when you heard the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation. When you believed, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit, who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the praise of his glory. So God said, you know what? I love my people. I care about my people. Those who I call and those who respond and choose me, I'm going to give them something to make sure that they are delivered to me intact in the end. Four points to consider really quickly. One, we enter into Christ by first hearing the good news of what he has done. That's called the gospel. We came because we heard what he had done in our past and we responded. Point number two, when we sincerely believe what Christ has done, we are sealed by the power of his Holy Spirit. God gives us a little portion of himself to be with us, an essence of himself to be with us and in us and help us and guide us and be that seal, that recognizable seal upon our lives. Uh, Point number three, a seal is for identity, safety and security and those are all the things that the holy spirit is designed to become in our lives every day all all the days that we walk and live in this earth that is his job point number four the holy spirit is the evidence of our future hope did you hear that the holy spirit's presence in our lives is the evidence of the future hope that we have with god be filled with the spirit of god is what he commands listen real problems require real solutions so i encourage you to dig deep in god's word today